350 kilograms on the bar. 771 pounds. I'm taking it for a pause, baby. Last warm up. This is where we earn the right to get to the top set. You know, it's not just wishful thinking. It's not just I want to do this. I gotta earn it. You're gonna earn the right. Strength is always earned. It's not a hypothetical situation where oh, I want to be this strong, but I'm not. You either are or you aren't. And you gotta earn it. You gotta put it to the test, and you will find out because the steel never lies. Let's get this. Let's go! Easy! And welcome back to your mum's favourite channel on YouTube, Cult Strength. It is my favourite day, it is deadlift day. And today, ideally, I want to work up to a very fucking heavy pause single. Um, approaching PB territory, my best pause deadlift is 375 kilos and my goal would be to hit 380 kilos in about two or three weeks time so we kind of want to get to around the 370 kilo range today i think that's kind of the goal we'll see how we go see how the body holds up you know it's pretty fucking taxing and it's been a pretty big week but you know as i said it's my favorite day probably the easiest day for me to perk up for but uh the plan i guess we'll start with 70 we got pause deadlift, so every single warm up will be paused in nine weeks out of pro raw powerlifting. And it would be nice to deadlift 400 kilos again, you know, before, before then. Um, to maybe give myself a shot of having a crack at that on the day as well, on the platform, that would be fucking excellent. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We'll get this done now. We'll give it a few reps and then we'll fucking chat. It's gonna be a good day, baby. It's gonna be. A good day, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Whew. Very easy. It's like there's nothing on the bar at all. So it should. We'll go 120 next. We'll chat in a sec. All right, gang. So 120 kilos on the bar. One thing I just noticed is that my shirt is matching with the plates today, which is going to be fun. Because if we get to 370, that's all reds, baby. Plus this. It's nice to coordinate things. It's a nice little surprise. Not really important, though. But, you know, I've been dealing with uh, this, like, back spasm an angry SI joint, you know, since before my last squat session, I kind of spoke about that, that uh, 350 kilo squat kind of buckled me a little bit. It definitely hurt it a bit more, but I've been, you know, rehabbing the last few days, doing everything I can to give myself a chance to get this session done because nine weeks out, you know, we don't really want to be missing sessions or having to push them back too far, you know, so I really am hopeful that today will be good and positive and successful. That's what I've been envisioning. We just got to execute now, but we'll take it set by set. And as I say always, you know, just because I'm a bit sore, I'm hurt. You know, when I do the set, it's 100% intensity. I ain't fucking around. There's no hesitance. You know, the hesitance will get you hurt. You need to move strong. You need to move with good technique. So every time I put my belt on and I step up to the fucking bar, you know, I'm ready to fucking go. Doesn't matter what weight it is. But we've got 120 now. We'll take this just for three reps. Let's go. Easy peasy, baby. Three pauses. Let's go. Easy peasy. Uh, we'll take a few minutes. We'll chuck another plate on the bar. We'll go 170. I'll put a belt on. 
and we start hitting singles. We start fucking exploding. That's what's up. Your mama knows. All right, baby. So we got uh, 170 kilos on the bar. We'll start hitting singles now. Start turning it on. You know, now every single, you know, warm up that I do is an opportunity to get better. Okay, and every single warm up is a justification for the next one. We don't get to go up and wait if we're fucking around and being shit. So these have to be fucking good and they have to move fast. Because I'm a fast deadlifter. I move explosively. All my warm ups, I move as fast as I can. That gives me confidence, you know, for my top sets and it lets me know what I'm capable of today. You know, if I'm coming in and it's moving sluggish, maybe it's not the best day to go heavy. But I know when I come in and I fucking move it like an empty bar and I fuck it like I hate it, that it's a good day. And that's always a good day. Today is a good day, I'm gonna fuck this like I hate it now. Not like your mother. Just relax, guys. I'm just kidding. It's a fucking joke. Cancel me, I dare ya. Let's go. They've already tried, baby. Can't cancel me, because I don't fucking care. Woo! <laughs> Easy work. Let's go, switch it on. Yeah. Easy work, baby. Snappy. Easy. You know what's up, baby. You know we'll chuck another plate on. We'll go 225. And we'll be, you know, somewhat disrespectful. Just like that. So far, my back's okay. I just gotta make sure in between every set though, every set that I'm doing, I'm actually doing multiple, you know, activations to get things switched on, to keep them switched on, especially my obliques and my abs, because uh, that's what gives you a healthy, strong lower back. So I'm working on that, but hey, we'll take a minute and we'll get to work again. All right, baby, now we're fucking cooking. We got 220 on the bar. It's like 495 pounds for you weird Americans, which is a lot of you apparently. It's like 25% of my audience is American and like 22% is Australian. And I'm from Australia, so that's weird, but cool. That's cool, bro. You do you. Anyway, and no, I'm not from fucking England. Everyone says, you from England? No. How the fuck do I sound English? You fuckers. How rude. All right, 220, hitting a single. We're pausing it. We're smoking it, baby. Let's go. Ha! Come on, motherfucker. Switch it on, baby. Let's go. It's time to party. It's time to party. I like the party. And by party, I mean deadlift and smoke some cones. That's a good time. Yo, mama knows. Let's go. Come on. Easy. go baby that's uh i guess it's 220 kilos could have been mistaken thought it was like fucking 20 kilos anyway that's what happens when you're big and sexy i guess let's go all right baby we got 275 on the fucking bar five red plates things so far going really well 220 felt somewhat like an empty bar. A goal was to have 270 move pretty much the same, right? I want to move this with fucking intent, with some fucking hatred, with some disdain, with some disrespect. Straight disrespect. Whew. I'm ready to go, baby. Let's get this. Come on, baby. Nine weeks out. Fucking turn it up, motherfucker. Let's go. Starts now. Let's go. Ha! Come on. I'm fucking around now. Oosh. Let's get it. Oosh. 
Oof. All right, baby, let's get this. Oof. Go, baby. It's moving. It's fucking moving. I think next. I think I'll go. Fuck me. 320. We'll go 320. Second last warm up. If things go to plan. But it's moving. You know, but we still got fucking ideally 100 kilos left to get to my top set. And 100 kilos ain't no shit. So we'll see how we go. But I'm quietly confident. Let's go. All right, baby, so we're loading up 320 kilograms, which is 705 pounds, some shit like that. Now, this is my second last warm up, hopefully. And it's got to move, you know what I'm saying? It's heavy weight, but it looks so fucking nice. Just look, all right? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big sexy plates, you know what 370 is gonna be? Seven. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's like buffering, we're loading. Something like that. But 270 felt really good. I'm gonna put straps on for this one. In my back down work, I'll take them off and get some grip work in. But right now, baby, we wanna be fucking dialed in. We want no bullshit. We gotta smoke it because this goes well. I dare say my last warm up. 350 kilos, you know, 771 pounds. I think that'll be the go. We've got to execute here. We've got to fucking move this shit like it ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Some more disrespect. That's what we do. I'm not very respectful in the gym, apparently. But we'll take a minute. I'm gonna get myself ready. And uh, we're gonna fucking eat, baby. It is time to eat. So I'm hungry for a big deadlift. I'm not actually hungry for some food but definitely for a big deadlift. We'll chat in a sec, motherfuckers. All right, baby, 320, ready to go. And also you're welcome. Took the pump cover off to give you a bit of a fucking show. But this is the fucking main event. Well, actually not really. This is the prelude to the main event. It's called fucking warm-ups. So I better fucking move like one. Let's go. Come on. Easy weight. Let's get this shit, baby. 320. Ah! Let's go. Pause this, motherfucker. Let's get it. Push. Yeah, baby. That's fucking easy. 350 next, and it's gonna be the fucking same as that. Mine, let's go. All right, baby, 350 kilograms on the bar. 771 pounds, I'm taking it for a pause, baby. Last fucking warm up. This is where we earn the right to get to the fucking top set. You know, it's not just wishful thinking, it's not just, I fucking want to do this. I've got to fucking earn it. You're going to earn the fucking right. Strength is always fucking earned. It's not a hypothetical fucking situation where oh, I want to be this strong, but I'm not. You either are or you fucking aren't. And you've got to earn it. You've got to put it to the test. And you will fucking find out because the steel never fucking lies. Let's get this shit. Come on! This is yours. Let's fucking go. Come on. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Easy weight. Easy weight. Let's go. Easy. We'll go 370 next. You know, the back's feeling a little fucking tight, especially a lockout, but it is what it is. I'll fight for it. I'll fucking scrap. I'll get it fucking done until it fucking drops me. I promise you that. 
Whew. All right, baby. This is the fucking main event. 370 kilograms. Now we're over 800 pounds. We're at 815. And we're doing real fucking deadlifts, conventional straight deadlifts. You know what I'm saying? And we're pausing them as well, which is extra hetero. That's what's up. This is the heaviest deadlift to prep so far. We're gonna move it, baby. Let's fucking go. This is mine. Fucking game time. Switch the fuck on. Let's get it. Come off. All yours. No fucking doubts, baby. Attack this. Attack it. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, baby. You know, that was a bit of a fucking scrap. A fair bit of pain trying to lock that out in my lower back. But that felt really comfortable. That felt really easy off the ground. Man, I felt strong. And I'm uh, pretty grateful to be standing right now, to be honest with you. Because yesterday, I didn't think this session was happening. Whew. But we get it done. We live to fight another day. I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna think about what I'll do now because I don't think any more deadlifts would be a very smart idea. But give me 10 minutes. I see how the pain is. It's peaking out right now. Fuck. Woo. But uh, I'm still happy, baby. That's a fucking win. Let's go. All right, gang. So, 370 kilogram pause deadlift. As I said, very comfortable off the ground. The weight felt excellent. I felt very, very strong today. But what I was struggling with, especially uh, the 320 and the 350 and the 370, it kind of got worse as I went along, um, was going into extension through my spine so straightening out uh, as the weights got heavier and the compression downwards became more it became very painful to even try and stand up straight i couldn't quite squeeze my glutes through so it took me a little bit longer uh, than i would have liked might have looked a little bit slow at lockout but truly truly that was not that heavy and i'm very happy about it i'm very confident that in two to three weeks 380 kilograms for a pause will be there. That'll be an all-time PB. That's only five kilograms off my all-time PB with a pause. And I am at 80% tops right now. Uh, but even at 80%, you know, we are still fucking capable because most of it's in fucking here, all right? You get a bit sore and you get in your own head and you fucking tell yourself you're done. You don't have to, you know what I mean? You really don't have to. And let's be honest, we live in pretty comfortable times. If you were born, few hundred years ago and you're a bit sore and you're fucking laid down you would literally die or be killed so let's just fucking take some perspective this is just the fucking gym you can do something you can do more it's like those cunts when they fucking hurt their fucking leg they take three weeks off the gym why because you're sad you could get a jacked upper body you could do some fucking isolation work you could work on your fucking calves hey but that's just uh that's just a great idea. You don't have to take me up on it, Jesus Christ. But um, I still really want to get some work in because, you know, I, I don't like just doing a top set and leaving the gym. The other day with my squats, I wasn't able to do back downs either with the pain in my back. So I did heavy, heavy leg press up to a thousand pounds. So today, today we're going to do heavy Zercher squats. Haven't done them in 12 weeks or so. I don't know what I'm capable of, especially after a heavy deadlift. But I would say I'm very strong right now compared to when I did them last, okay? So even though, you know, I did them for 10 weeks or so, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm stronger today than I was back then, just because my strength in general uh, has skyrocketed in the last three months since I've been really focusing on comp prep. I'm a stronger fucking person all round, baby. Ask your mama. Um, so I'm gonna do these. I don't think they're gonna hurt too much because as I said, um, it's a bit technical maybe, but the, the reason or the, the thing giving me pain is going into extension, this 
this movement from here to here. So it wasn't even off the ground, it was just from the knees to lock out. Even just doing it without a bar right now is fucking painful. So there's none of that with a Zercher squat, you're just upright the entire time. So you're really working the stabilizers, really working the abs and the erectors and the quads and the fucking traps and your back and your arms and your penis. Every muscle in your body, it's not even a muscle, is it? Every muscle in your penis in your body, even if other people's penis is in your body at the same time, it probably get worked as well. We're getting a bit deep now, guys. That's what he said. Or she said, it depends what you're into. You know, I'm not judging. Shut up, Em. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop blubbering. We've got Zercha squats, and my goal, five plates would be cool. Five plates would be very cool. Maybe for a rep PB. I think my best is five with 220. Maybe I'll do more. Maybe you'll have to wait and find out. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Trenbolone. It ain't Trenbolone. Trust me, I banned myself from that fucking years ago. I can't, I can't handle that shit. Let's go. All right, baby. 60 kilos. Zercher squats. Let's get it. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. See if I can get it done without too much pain. Fingers crossed, baby. Got some work to do. Five reps. Nice. All right, baby. 100 kilos on the bar. We'll go another five reps. We'll keep warming up. Uh, until we can't go any further. We, you know, I'd still like to get to at least 180 kilos uh, and get some, uh, you know, a good high rep set in, but we'll see how we go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Easy peasy, just start to find the groove. But it feels good, we'll go 140 next. Let's go. All right gang, so 140 kilos on the bar, warming up. My best ever Zercher squat is uh, 600 pounds, 272 and a half kilos. I haven't done them in maybe 10 weeks or so, 12 weeks, maybe three months. Uh, you know, since I decided I was gonna be doing competition, I started to focus more on comp spec lifts. But uh, yeah, as I said, this is an excellent substitute for a deadlift. You know, I'm struggling with flexion and extension in my lower back, um, but I can still load up and still get some good work in with these Zercher squats. My favorite, most violently fucking sickening version or variation of the squat. It's my, it's my favorite. I'm sick in the head and I love it. Let's go. If you don't do Zercher squats, you're a pussy. Three. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Easy work. All right, baby. 180 kilos. One rep. Make it a, maybe a, maybe a second last warm up. We'll see. I'm feeling pretty good so far, so we might cruise past this 180 for some reps. Anyway, we'll smoke it now. Let's go. Just one. Come on. Push. Easy. Nice. Let's go. All right, baby. We got 210 kilos on the bar. Pretty fucking heavy. This will be my last warm up. I'll figure out what I'll do after this. We're gonna hit a single here. And execute it, you know, fucking the best I can. Move with intention. Get it back on the rack. Now the goal with Zercha squats is you wanna get this fucking thing off you as fast as you can before you pass out. It's fun. It's like a game of chicken. 
Let's go. Whew. One rep. Come on. Huh. Ooh. You said you were gonna drop it. Huh? My top set. Ooh, let's go. She nearly killed me. <laughs> Everyone's trying to fucking kill me, but uh, I'm hard to kill. Let's go. All right, gang. So things went really well in warm ups, uh, even after heavy deadlifts. So we got 220 kilos on the bar, five plates a side. Now, my PB when I was at my strongest with these was five reps. Keep in mind, I haven't done these over three months, I think. And these are one of those things that you get better at each week because it's the sensation and the pressure in your face and holding your breath. That's probably the most challenging thing with this lift. So uh, I'm gonna give 220 a fucking crack. We'll see how many reps we can get. If I can get close to five, yeah, that's fucking cool. But you know me, in my head, I'm sitting there going, just get six, just get six, don't be a pussy. It doesn't matter that you haven't done them in three months. It doesn't matter that you have a busted back. It doesn't matter that you just did heavy deadlifts. Don't be a pussy. That's what's going on in here. So I'll take a minute and I'll uh, G myself up a little bit and we'll have a little dance with this bad boy. Let's go. Obviously I'm gonna have to take it out. Yeah. yeah. All right, gang. 220 kilos, top set. Uh, now, I'm not even going to bother trying to put it back on the rack when I finish this set. I'm just going to hold the mono out and I'm going to put it down on the slings, on the safety slings here. Um, hopefully before I pass out, uh, but they're also there in case I do pass out. As I said, the toughest part about this lift is the pressure in the head and wanting to fucking pass out. It's not nice, it's nasty, it fucking hurts. And uh, I love it to be honest with you. Anyway, hey, what the fuck? 220, baby. I wasn't really expecting to be lifting this today, but here we fucking are. Turns out I'm pretty strong. I guess. Let's go. Whew. Fucking hold on, motherfucker. It's the pain train. It's the pain train, baby. Come on, baby. What do you fucking got, cunt? Let's get this shit, baby. Let's get this shit, baby. I think that was six. Okay. okay. I, don't rem I don't remember. I don't remember much of it. You get the camera. Grab the camera. They want to see. They want to see this pretty face. So I don't really remember much of that. But I can feel the remnants of pain in my body, and it sucks. But I'm also alive, and I won. We always win, baby. I'm gonna take a nap. We'll chat in a second. Jesus. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> it's that time. It's that time of the day where you suck back a few dry beverages. Now, a dry beverage, you may be asking, what is that? It's a classy word for having a billy. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in like a, a social setting or you've got some uh, classy people around, Instead of going, hey bro, you want a couple cones? No, 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 no. You go, excuse me, kind sir, can I interest you in a dry beverage? It's much classier. It's better for everybody. It feels better. Anyway, as you can tell, my brain's pretty fried. I don't think the blood's gone back to my head yet. It's not in my penis either. I don't really know where it is. 
Uh, I'm concerned actually. I think my penis has gone inside my own body. That happens after a big session. You know what I mean, guys? Like, you know, after you train is not the time <laughs> to try and impress a girl. I'm just being honest. This is a public service announcement. Do not pull your dick out after you've trained and show anybody because it's going to be almost not there. I'm being real with you. Even trying to take a piss mid-session, you're like, the fuck did it go? You know what I mean? But it's also a good thing you know, if you have a big penis, which probably isn't many of you, because if you have a big penis and you're doing a session, you're trying to get a pump, you know, for example, you don't want all that blood in that big old sausage. You want it to be in your arms or in your chest or wherever you may be wanting it. You know what I mean? We're getting philosophical today. You know, I hope this information has been handy for you guys. Uh, I'd be a little bit surprised, um, you know, if it wasn't helpful, because I'm a pretty helpful guy. I like to help people out, it's what I do, and you know that. Uh, but it was a good session. I'm done with my shit talk now. I'm actually going to have some food, because I do feel like I may pass it out in the next 30 to 60 seconds. But anyway, until next time, you know what to do. Go to the fucking gym.